is finally coming to an end and I wanted to share my most worn and least worn this year. All of these items are not all luxury items. They may cost a little bit more because of the actual material, but let's get it started. <laughs> these are the things that I wore most and least worn in 2023. Welcome back to my channel, guys. It's your girl, Coco Styles. And on this channel, we talk about beauty, fashion, lifestyle, and styling. So if you are interested in that as a tall girl, make sure you are tuning into this video. This year, I didn't really shop as much as I did in previous years and that is solely because I am just being very very cautious on what I'm buying I do not like to have a closet full of clothes that I'm just not wearing it's just not smart shopping for me I want to wear my stuff I've been buying things that are going to stand the test of time now I know some of you guys are like oh you just want a full leather dress it really just depends on the item if it's something that I know I can still wear a ton of ways so I'm not gonna go to Shein it's just not something that I do no shade to the girls who shop at Shein but I'm six feet tall it's just a no-go for me <laughs> Shein clothes are not the best quality and I don't want to have to wash something or put it in the dry cleaners and it's ruined so in this video, I'm going to show you guys the things that I absolutely loved in 2023 that I wore the most and the things that I haven't worn the most. So the first thing on my list will be my Gia Borgini boots, which is the collab with, I think her name is the Gia Pernil, because I see them both ways when you look them up online. But these boots are very heavy and I am almost 100% sure that I told you guys that I had to get them stretched, not because they were too small, but because the leather was so stiff on these boots, like super stiff, really nice, nicely made. But these boots are very, very versatile. I wore them a ton this year. When I first got them, I did tell you guys that I was afraid to drive in them because they're so heavy and they're so thick. But I tried them out and I was fine <laughs> but these are the boots that I wore the absolute most this year they're heavy but they're still very very much so comfortable the second item I wore most is this denim skirt from the Frankie shop now granted girls denim is always gonna be in it's never gonna go out of style I am an 80s baby and to me denim will always be in all right so but this skirt it's very long. I am six feet tall, so you guys will see. I'm gonna pop in a photo too um, with me wearing it so you guys can see how it fits my frame. The only problem, if you have a slight bit of belly, you might be in trouble. This, this skirt, I think it goes up to a 31 and a half waist. So if you're anything past that, just don't do it, girls. I think I've said this before. I'm like barely making it, but it's a really, really nice skirt. Um, so if you are looking for a denim skirt, definitely try out the Frankie Shop for something that is extremely maxi and very much so fitted to the body. The third thing I wore a lot are my starred red cami boots. Listen, if you have not thought about wearing red boots this, this winter, this fall definitely check these out they're not, they're not a muted red they are very much so like cherry like fire red very very nice not over the top though it does have a small zipper on the side um, but if you have really large calves it's not going to fit you they do not they haven't they do have a small little piece to stretch but not enough if you have wide feet this may not be the boot for you if you wear a 12 if you wear a 12 if you wear a 12 you have white feet you may have a problem i wear an 11 and had to get a 12. so if that makes sense but these boots are absolutely gorgeous the fifth thing is my lamarck jackets i have spoken about lamarck so many times and that is solely because lamarck has really great leathers now the one you guys are seeing is the one in green but i also have it in black which is what i which is what i'm wearing now and i have it in like two other colors i believe i have it in brown and ivory and i wanted one more they're not the cheapest, but they're very, very nice. They're not necessarily a tall girl brand, but they are tall girl friendly when it comes to these blazers. So Lamarck is the other item that I wore the absolute most in 2023. The other item from the Frankie shop would be their trench coats. I'm just gonna pop in a photo or a small video with me wearing it. 
their trench coats are very much so oversized so as for reference again i'm six feet tall and you guys can see how the jacket actually fits me it's very much so large but i absolutely love it if you're looking for a trench coat definitely check them out they have a slew of styles but make sure you're looking at those details and the sizing well they do have one size fit all and then they have oversized and then they also have them in small medium medium large this jacket is a medium large and it's huge okay i could have got small medium to be honest so if you're looking for a nice trench definitely check out the frankie shop some of my accessories i wore the most this year would be my fendi shades i got these from the outlet in sawgrass and I absolutely love them. They're a really nice big frame, but the side of the glasses are very thin, a very small logo, Fendi logo, very, very small and discreet. Absolutely love them. Now, these are not for the girls who are into super trendy glasses because these are not trendy. These are more so of a classic style. And the other pair of glasses that I wore the most, and I also got these from Sawgrass, will be my Celine Tortoiseshell shades. Girls, if you don't have a pair of tortoiseshell shades, you're missing out. You need a black pair and you need a tortoiseshell pair and probably a pop of color. Yes, you can buy trendy shades after you have purchased all of your, I guess you could say classic sunglasses, right? Throw in a pair of shades with a pair of jeans, a nice top, and you're good to go. Super chill, super simple. The ninth thing will be my Jordan 1s. Now, I'm not a sneaker girl, but I definitely got a pair of these, and I wore them more than I thought that I would because they are a really nice color. They go with my Lamarck jacket. They go with other blazers that I have, other moto jackets. They, they, they just go with a lot. I actually wore them... I wore them with all denim once. I wore them with denim and a leather jacket so multiple ways i can actually wear these sneakers those are two of the ways that i actually wore them and i want to say there was one more way so i wore them probably five or six times those ways but different clothes if that makes sense so my jordan ones are another item that i wore a lot in 2023 last item would be my gucci trunk bag you guys already know i think they call it a trunk bag it's so old i showed this like a few weeks ago wore this bag a ton of times this red is more of a muted burgundy ish red but it's beautiful it's a really really nice bag for me it goes really well with my wardrobe if this was a lime green bag it would not go with my wardrobe but that color is absolutely perfect and it is one of the most worn pieces that I wore in 2023 so that's it for the first part those are 10 things that I absolutely loved for 2023 and wore the most so let's get into the things that i wore the least so if you like videos like this make sure you are hitting that like button and if you would like more videos like this hit that subscribe button all right so the first item that i wore that i haven't worn a lot in 2023 would be my stowed cami boots in this i think they call it like a brown color so the reason why I haven't worn these a lot is solely because I have not worn a lot of suede. That is literally the only reason why. I've been trying to gear towards more leather. These are suede. I just wasn't really grabbing for them the most this fall so far. And you, you can actually wear these end of spring. You can. You really can. But I did not grab for them. I grabbed for the red ones more than I did this color. So those are another pair of boots that I wore the least in 2023. And to my surprise, and you guys may think this why, my Chanel brooch is the other thing that I didn't wear a lot. My reason for not wearing it is solely because of the pin parts. I need to find something that I really wanna wear it on that I'm not going to damage. Because the pin is rather thick, this is a beautiful, beautiful brooch. But the pin is rather thick and it can cause a hole in your item. And if you wear it in the same item multiple times, I don't know how often we are gonna stick it back in the same hole. But I was trying to find something that was more thick that can actually carry and hold onto the actual brooch. Super nice brooch. I'm glad I purchased it. This was like a two year ago birthday gift to myself. Very, very nice, but definitely the least worn this year. When it comes to accessories, I absolutely love gloves. And when I saw these gloves at cost, child, let me tell you something. 
one thing about me, two things for sure. If I see a piece that looks like it's unique and I'm not gonna find it, I'm gonna grab it. So these leather gloves come really, really high up on my arm, probably damn near past my, uh, my biceps. Like they're really, really high. They stretch at the top. They were like 175, not that bad in price because they're 100% leather, but I did not reach for them a lot so far this year because of the weather. January of this year, I didn't do it. February, I didn't do it. But trust and believe me, in 2024, I'm gonna wear them because I have a nice jacket and a sweater that I wanna actually wear with these gloves. So this is another item that I did not wear a lot in 2023. The fourth item is going to be my new Jimmy Choo boots. These are something that I would replace again. I said this in a few videos ago. However, <laughs> I have not worn them a lot because I am not a girl who wears a ton of shorts. I'm six feet tall. It's really hard for me to find nice um, dresses that are like a nice length that I can wear my boots. Trust and believe me, once I figure out two to three pieces to wear with these boots, bottoms, I'm not going to say figure out if I can find them. I'm gonna wear this, these a ton of times. The color is absolutely beautiful. I got them half price off because they went on sale. I wanna say it was Farfetch. So they were $19.50 originally and I got them for half off. Absolutely gorgeous pair of boots, but I did not grab for them a lot so far in 2023. The last item would be my Valentino belt. Now hear me out, this belt is still very nice, okay? But what is happening is I am gearing toward things that have less of a logo and more of a minimalist logo. And that is solely because I don't need the belt to be like in your face. Still love the belt, um, but I have not grabbed for it as much. But it also can mean too, I haven't been wearing a lot of jeans with belts or needed a belt. So it's not that the belt is terrible, I just did not grab for it a ton in 2023. Those are just a few things that I wanted to share with you guys that I, wore the most in 2023 as a tall girl and things that I did not wear. Now the things that I wore the least, it does not mean that they're items that I don't like because actually every item on this list I love. I just did not grab for it as much as I thought I would in 2023, guys. But thank you guys for tuning in. If you like videos like this, please comment below. And if you stay to the end of this video, please comment Coco We See You. And guys, don't forget to follow me on Instagram at Coco Styles NYC and Coco Styles NY. And my personal style blog, I'll show you guys some. <laughs> Coco Styles NYC and my style services, CocoStylesNY.com. And I'm on Tickety Tickety Talk, Coco Styles NY. See, and I will catch you guys in the next one.